Hello, I'm Ridwan and I'd like to welcome you to one of my latest movie and this time I have just finished doing a sales order on the fly. And this is in the sales CRM plugin. You can collect it from my Salesforce projects under files under CRM folder. And with this plugin, you can install it to the Felix closer to the Felix console here I've done that and um, the CLCRM is here it's active it's very fast to implement it so after downloading here you get to the Felix and then you can then log in right. what I'm going to show you is that you can create a sales close to sales almost right after a lead and or even create a sales order for previous customers such as Joe Block as shown here. So I'm going to show how you exactly do that. You have to log in as a valid sales representative and you need to have an organization. So um, once you log in, um, I'm going to do a new sales lead just to show you that everything else is working. Let's say you, you got a lead on the 4th of April. This is your lead, customer name, key, telephone number, address, and the email. Within a second, you will create your a ticket for you to keep track of your new lead and it is attached to the lead window where you can manage things such as converting it into an opportunity okay we have done that in the last video and here we are just going to do a simple activity let's say um, you want to have a meeting with the person you say um, discuss more and let's set a time for it so you have a meeting on Tuesday, and then you have another meeting yes, on Tuesday with the time. Let's make the time realistic. It's um, 5 p.m. Right, save it. And you will have it here on the calendar, and it's different coded, so you know that this is a meeting. Then you still here under your lead and the other two requests here. Now, let's say this customer surprise you immediately today. You just want to place an order straight away. Okay, so select sales order. Just remember to put the customer name is case sensitive. The code need not be sensitive, so you can make a small one. But I'm not going to do that. So let's say it's ordering whole. And you can leave it at this and it will just default a one uh, quantity at the standard price. But let's say they say, hey, give me three. All right, quantity equals three and give me a discount. So you put the dollar sign, the simple price. If you want the discount, so okay, I'll put the discount. I'll set you at $5. This does not take decimal points, so uh, that's the way it is for the moment. So. Let's click yes, and that's created within a second. You see it's different color coded, so easy to track them down. So it'll be a ticket so that your team that's supposed to deliver the things, and you will see it right away on the calendar. Visually, it's like a timeline workflow, and here you are. You got what you wanted. You have generated a sales order on the fly within a second. Here it is, everything fill in, address, Item three, and you give a discount, nine dollars instead of the cutin fifty at least price. Okay, so now what if you want to create a sales order for a present customer? I can do that too. So let's say order again. Let's say the present customer is Joe Block. You do not have to enter his full name, just the first, and he want to sell in a theater. That's it, one item. Click yes, click onto this, go and zoom in, 
because this is not a new lead, you will open up normal request window instead of a lead window. But you have your sales folder right there. If I touch, I look down on it. Here you are. Click on it. Use the name to that sales order. Check it. You have ordered a seagull, one of it. Yeah, at the price. There you are. So, pretty cool, isn't it? You can refer to my forum for more information under the um, sales lead CRM. I'll be uploading a tutorial soon. I just created a nice tutorial to explain how to get to this point, everything else you need to know about the sales lead CRM. So, here is a bye bye from me from Bangkok. Uh, I'll be returning to Kuala Lumpur tomorrow, and Hip will be going back to Hanoi. Bye bye.